Hey guys, it's me and Mighty here back with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing Fenty Blue. I'm going to be reviewing Fenty Beauty's new um, Mocha Mommy bronzer, well Sunstalker bronzer in Mocha Mommy as well as the new Penny For You Thoughts Kilowatt Foil. It's a free light, free style highlighter. So yeah, I just gave you guys this very simple look. I use Mocha Mommy in the crease as an eyeshadow as well as the foil, the Penny For You Thoughts foil for a um what is it called for uh, eyeshadow um i have everything on my face is fenty beauty right now so i'm full fenty beauty down and that's really how i feel about that um the sunstalker bronzer they did i don't remember how many shades they released in but i'll put it right there i did see a range for bronzers but i definitely already can tell you i think that there should be one more darker than the mocha mommy just because like this is my shade but there's people that are darker than me so i definitely think that um they should come out with more shades but you all know how this typically works um, people, you know, come out, brands come out with things in the beginning and then they, you know, continue to work themselves up. But, um, so far so good. I love Fenty, so I'm really excited for this review. Um, if you've already tried out the product, definitely let me know how you feel about it below. If you like this look, let me know. Um, enough of my chit chat, let's get into the video. Alright everybody, so right now we are starting off with my face. I just put on my foundation, primer, all of that good stuff. And now I have some, um, of the Fenty Beauties, like the, the translucent powder. Is setting in my face this is typically the stage where I do begin to do my bronzer um so for me I'm going to be comparing their bronzer the one that I got in the shade Mocha Mommy um which they just released I just got this from Sephora last night but first and foremost this packaging is cute as hell so it comes in this nice little gold compact and then this is the shade the other shades that I, I looked at they they wouldn't have bronze them be real with you so this was the best shade um for my skin so this is their sun stalker instant warmth bronzer in the shade mocha mommy i don't remember how much it retailed for but this is what i have and then i'm going to be basically what i like this is the this is a bronzer that i use all the time this is probably one of the only bronzers that i've ever purchased and i purchased it because of its warmth um this is the covergirl queen collection bronzer so for me i can definitely see that they're like in the same type of family because this is literally all that I use so um yeah basically I'm just gonna go in and put it everywhere that I bronze and we're gonna see you know if it does the magic and I'm going on in with going in with the product on a nice little angle brush So it's definitely bringing warmth to the face. A lot of people on YouTube were complaining that it was on a bit a bit on the red side. I can see that, but bronzer is a little bit more warm. And for me, I usually just put my, I just bronze. I don't usually even contour, but I just put, I, if you do contour and bronze, I would say put on your contour, which is typically on the more cooler side, and then bronze your skin. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with on the second side. So for me, I kind of double bronze. So like I bronze when my skin is like this and then I set my entire face and then I go back on top with more bronzer. So it's definitely bronze me. I'm warm. Oh yeah. Ooh. I'm warm. I'm bronzed. I'm bronzed. I'm definitely bronzed. Okay, so I'm about to set my face and then we'll be right back and then I'm gonna double bronze. So yeah, I'm going to go back in. Now I just set my entire face. Now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the bronzer. But so far I like it. It's very rich. I can't see what people are saying though. I have cool skin, so I like the warmth because my undertones are very neutral but if you are like more so on the um if your skin is a little bit more red i would definitely see how this can be red for the skin i like it i'm not even gonna sit here and say i don't i like it a lot and i didn't even swatch the um two bronzers together well not together but side by side but let me do that for you guys really quickly just so we can do the comparison so this is the fancy beauty um bronzer That's Fenty Beauty right there. And then the CoverGirl, which I would say is a, a great alternative. This is the CoverGirl. And the CoverGirl is a little bit more. It's still on the red side. They're very similar, y'all. Ooh. They're, they're similar. So if you're looking for a dupe, 
but I'm just here to, you know, show you guys the side-by-side -side comparison. So, um, inspired, I don't know if you guys follow Uche. She's a, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite British um, influencers here on YouTube. I am bronze. Like, I'm really bronze. Like, I'm actually, like, I really like how rich it is. Like, I'm feeling it. So, anyway, one of my favorite, like, everyday type of looks is to do bronze in the crease of my eye, mascara, highlighter, and center. So, Uche, she pretty much did that with the bronzer. And then she also used the new Penny For You Thoughts um, highlighter as like an eyeshadow. So that's basically kind of what I'm going to do today. And then as far as my highlighter, because the Penny For You Thoughts, um, I didn't swatch it for you guys, but it's one of the new Kilowatt foils. It's a foil. So I personally, I just don't like this shade in general. I wouldn't use um, here. I could give a swatch for you guys on the skin, but that's not something that I would typically use to highlight. So it's very, it's more so on the copper side, the, um, the Penny For You Thoughts. So... That's not just something like for me when I like to highlight, I like to either use like a pinky shade or I like to do gold. So. Alrighty, so now my crease is all warmed up really pretty. And I'm gonna go in with Penny for You Thoughts. Penny for You Thoughts. some lashes as well as some mascara now I'm gonna kind of like my face is not hella cakey but I like to do this just to add my um my highlighter so I'm just gonna go in with some pixie mist just to kind of get my face you know a little moist so apparently Fenty did come out with another highlighter I wasn't made aware of that so I didn't pick that up today um for my highlighter today I'm going to be using um Ginger Binge as well as Moscow Mule. I'll be putting it to the high points of my face, my upper lip, and then also in the corner, the inner corner of my eye to really just, you know, bring in some pop to it. I want this look to be 100% fancy. Fancy everything. And I like, um, I think this highlighter will look really good with this look just because everything is really bronzy and like, yeah, on that side. So I think this would be a good, like, compliment to it. I'm gonna sit on top of that bronzer real pretty. Y'all see that? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, fancy. Okay, and for lips, I'm going to be lining my lip with a brown pencil, and then I'm going to be wearing the shade. The Mademoiselle and Spanx. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. I look really warm, I look really bronzy. I I like it. I can say that I, I like the bronzer, um, the Mocha Mommy. I definitely, um, like I mentioned earlier, I definitely think, you know, Fenty's probably going to work on making darker shades. I did watch Nima Tang's video, and I don't remember really seeing the bronzer on her skin, and you guys know we always use Nima as a reference. But um, for my skin, I personally like it. I like the warmth. I like the red to it, just because it's similar to a bronzer that I typically use. I don't want to really make my skin look cool. Um, when it comes to me bronzing up my skin, so I like how it's giving me this nice, warm, red look. Um, that's how I feel about the bronzer. I enjoy it. I like it. I would definitely be using it. Um, if you don't want to spend the money for it, I would definitely say if you can get your hands on the CoverGirl Queen Collections bronzer, definitely take your ass to them CVS, Walgreens, in the hood, because that's where you really got to find it. You got to find it <laughs> where it's a huge population of black people, because if not, they probably won't have this bronzer. So for me, I do, I will be revisiting this bronzer, but like I said, if you're looking for a dupe, you can definitely try out the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. And if you guys know any more of the dupes for this one, definitely let us know below. 
As for the Penny For You Thoughts foil, um, I don't really, I don't deem this necessary. And I'm just gonna be honest about that. I used it as an eyeshadow and I'll keep using this. I will keep this in my personal collection. However, this is not something that you just need to go run to the store and you have to have today. It's not, I don't feel like it's um, realistic. It does have a lot of chunky glitter in it. So I don't really see how you would use this as a highlighter and then because it is more so on the copper side maybe i'm just a little bit less creative but for me like whenever i do my makeup i'm more of an everyday girl um so i like to use products that are feasible but i don't necessarily think that this is going to be feasible for you know a highlighter and because i did use it as an eyeshadow i do like it as um how i use it for an eyeshadow but personally i could find an eyeshadow that's the same shade that i don't have to spend all of this for but um i like how my whole look came together like I like how warm, how red, how bronzy. I like everything together. I like all of the colors. I like how everything complements each other. But I just don't see the, necess the necessity of this specific product. It was cool. Um, but do you really need to go buy it? I don't think so. But honestly, that's it. I didn't want this review to be drawn out. I didn't need it to be too long for you guys because i just reviewing two products. Um, if there are any new hot products on the scene that you would like for me to review, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a beat. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.